Hi, I am Ruben Iglesias, and I'm a technical marketing engineer for Aruba Stretching. Today, I would like to invite you. Join us at the AirHedge community to learn more about how to get hands-on experience on the AOS CX operating system using the new AOS CX Switch Simulator. Let me give you a little bit of the AOS CX Switch Simulator history. In 2017, we we're preparing to launch our first CX Switch, the Aruba CX8400. This new switch included a brand new operating system, AOS CX. The AOS CX operating system was built around the cloud native principles. These principles are for modularity, resiliency, programmability, and elasticity. Of the four principles, modularity is the key. All software systems are modular in the sense that different functions are programmed as single sequences of code and then put together to form the overall software. However, the question is how autonomous are these modules? How do changes or failures in one affect the others? The answer is determined by how these modules communicate with each other to exchange information. For example, how do the modules implementing different routing protocols collaborate to create a single routing table? In AOS CX, each module stores its data in a central repository called the state database. Then, when another module needs that information, it simply gets it from the database. The state database centralizes information from the whole system, ranging from the amount of power provided by the power supplies, the temperature read by the internal probes, all the way to the OSPF neighbors in the current configuration of the different functions. This approach is called the database-driven architecture. By the way, the database is a data structure that exists in memory, so accessing it is extremely fast. This takes us to our next principle, that is resiliency. In a database-driven architecture, as long as the data exists in the database, the state of the module that produced the information does not affect the state of the others. In an extreme example, an AYCX module can be restarted without affecting the rest of the system. This is different from legacy operating systems in which a single failure triggers a full reboot, rendering the whole system unavailable for at least several minutes. The next principle is programmability. AOS CX offers an application program interface or API that makes the state database accessible from both inside and outside the system. For example, an application or script running on another network station can log in to a CX switch and interact with the database to learn and change the state of the different software and hardware elements in the switch. Using the API, you can automate operations, collect data, and perform different types of analysis of the network behavior and state. In addition to the interface to external applications, AOS CX hosts a network analytics engine, or NAE. The NAE is a platform that allows you to install scripts directly on the switch and monitor specific values in the state database. And whenever a certain condition is met, trigger one or more actions, collect information, store it in the time series database for uh, future analyses, display in graphs, and for trend analysis, etc. Then it can also send a report to an external application and even change the switch configuration. These scripts are called NA agents and Aruba offers a variety of them covering multiple monitoring needs. Finally, there is elasticity. Why do we say that AOS CX is elastic? The AOS CX operating system today runs on many different switch series, independently of their size, network location, for example, branch, campus, or data center, and role, access, aggregation, or core. Let's go back to the story. With such a complex system, 
we realized that if we wanted to succeed, we had to first learn fast and then enable our engineers, partners at a very quick pace. That was quite a challenge. So it was agreed that our software development team, along with creating the new OS from the ground up, was going to create a simulator. We call it simply the OVA. The first version was in our hands around April. And we started experimenting with the AOS CX, even though we didn't have enough hardware. My own first steps with CX were on the OVA. And by the time we got our first hardware prototype, I already knew how to use the CLI to configure most of the features, access the REST API, and install NA agents. And we were very successful. Today, the AOS CX is running everywhere, branches, campus, aggregation, core, and data centers. And a part of that success was because of the simulator. At that point, we were using it to enable more and more engineers. We reached a total of over 1,000 attendees in our first simulator-based workshops, including Aruba pre- and post sales specialists and partner engineers in the first 12 months. As the simulator evolved, it became more user-friendly and we started to sh sharing it with a larger community. We are now making this network learning tool available to the public. So what can you do with the simulator? You can create your own virtual learning environment. You can connect different network topologies, configure networking features, technologies, and solutions. And you can manage and automate and monitor devices and networks. Now, as we said, we are sharing this through the Arhatch community. What can you find in our community home, the AOS CX simulator page? Here, you'll find this introduction, but you will also find how and where to download the Aruba AOS Switch Simulator from, how to create your simulation environment, including uh, platforms like EVNG, GNS3, and VirtualBox, how to use the AOS Switch Simulator to create different labs, and we will provide some lab guides. You'll find some at the beginning, and then we will be adding more and more as the time comes but also you will be able to get help, to provide feedback, to collaborate with the community by uh, sharing your own labs and comments, and also uh, sharing your experience, sharing uh, what happens with uh, your different tests, etc. So this community will allow you to experiment, learn and grow in your skills in networking in general and in AOS CX in particular. Thank you.